July 2023 is the date that brought an end to the term of office of the local council ones and local council twos that you may recall were elected in 2018. And uh, of course, issues that arise are aspects around the constitutional you know, provisions and you know, the vacancy that, are, that has been created. And if you, you came across uh, the article by the Speaker of Parliament on her official Twitter handle, she you know, called upon the Ministry of Local Government to present an explanation to the country on how best the executive intends to deal with this particular um, vacuum that exists in over 18,000 you know, elective positions. Of course, we have seen comments from the leader of opposition claiming that from, from 10th July, any um, stamp that you get from a local council, one chairperson or two, is null and void. So where does this leave us as a, a country and, uh, you know, how do we move forward with this? And to discuss this this afternoon is a panel of a immaculate uh, senior citizens of this country. Okay, some are senior, some are, are tending towards a senior. But of course, it's my pleasure to introduce them to you this afternoon. And from the Forum for Democratic Change is an activist by the name Brian Atuhari, also known as Unstoppable. Brian, we are happy to have you. Happy to have you here. Yeah. How, how do you feel? How is it? I, I, am, I am good. You're discussing an illegality. <laughs> <laughs> and and you, you, you want to say that when the minister discusses it, yeah. or brings something to become legal. Uh, no, I didn't say it becomes legal. Uh, because, I... because, because it's, it should be about voting, <laughs> not about the minister speaking. Yeah, true. We shall uh, examine that and, and, and much more. And next to myself is the only lady in red, and that is Dr. <laughs> Sarah Birete. Sarah is the executive director of Center for Constitutional Governance. She's also a lawyer. So she'll be interested on the legal dynamics uh, that surround this particular situation. Doctor, we are very happy to have you. Thank you, Moses, and uh, good afternoon, viewers. All right. The, our guest this afternoon is a first-timer on the Citizens Chat Show, and that is Robert Mugumi. Mugumi, is that correct? Yes, Mugumi. Yeah. Mahari. Ro Mugumi. Mugumi. Mm -hmm. Yes. Robert is uh, uh, a public administrator and also a political analyst. No, a political scientist, right? Yes. 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 We are happy to have you, Robert. Thank you. Pleasure yeah. is mine. Yeah. I'm humbled to be here. All right, since you have the microphone already, let us begin right away. Um, I mean, the public administrative law, you know, that guides public servants, but also the Local Government Act that these local councils fall under. How would we find ourselves as a country in a place where over 18,000 elected positions, the office bearers are expired, and I don't know, there is a vacuum. Well, Moses, for, for starters, it's actually not 18,000, it's mm -hmm. 81,000. 81,000. Yes, because uh, parishes are about 10,000, mm -hmm. and then LOC ones are about 71,000, the last time I checked. Now, that's 81,000 local councils. But part of that also, there are five members, five elective members of that, uh, that kind of council. That puts the total to about 400,000 elective positions. Now, this is problematic if we can't have money to, to really have this uh, election go on. Because you see, um, it is an illegality. It hasn't happened for the first time mm. because it happened. Uh, local councils were in office from 2001 up to 2018. That's about 17 years without elections. Fact or fiction? Mm. Now, five years ago, 2018, elections happened. And now here we find ourselves in the same position where we have no money. It was 60.8 billion as uh, quoted by the Electoral Commission. Mm. Now, I don't think this money is too, too much. Uh, this is small money, in my opinion. Mm. Because when you look at the, the functions of the LOC, local councils, among others, one, guidance and leadership in the communities, security, judicial, um, government program, following up government uh, program implementation. I think local councils have a big role to play 
and their positions should not uh, joke to it. In my opinion, if I was uh, in charge, I would have availed these funds for. Th this is something that should we, it it shouldn't come as an emergency. It should be planned, and election should have happened. In my opinion, it's uh, problematic to find that uh, we are in this mess again that we had in 2018 because the local councils were in office for 17 years without election. Mm -hmm. Now, if this happens again, we are not sure. We are not sure up to when. Because you see, if they are in office illegally, there are two things. Either parliament can come up with an amendment to undo it, or the presidential directive with executive order, where the minister could uh, uh, sign on it and it becomes a, they can uh, push forward. But if that doesn't happen, it's an illegality, and I'm wondering. Mm. Because you see, for example, the, you talked about the letters that are taken to court for bail. Now, some LOCs are afraid to handle this because it may, they, it may find them on the wrong side of the law. Mm -hmm. And that's not only the case. There are so many other functions. Yeah? Because I'm told even in MIRA registration, you need LOC to see letters, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know where are the people going to get the LOC letters because they are in office illegally. So in my opinion, I think it's high time government looked at this and uh, funds are availed and the local councils move forward. All right, thank you. Brian, let me get your own opinion. What do you make of the situation? First, first of all, from where I stopped, I, whether they are legal or illegal, I know that Uganda's political system and governance is all sham and illegal, first of all. So they are not ashamed. They're not ashamed about this situation, I think, is the problem. Because they just have to extend the illegality. But I, I understand uh, local councils came, the first time local councils happened, it was because they were RCs, resistance councils. Mm. And then with the coming of Marit Pate, and you see, these, these RCs were like NRM structures, seven structures to get out with cooperatives, get out with both the systems that were in place, and, and embed himself be able to be on the ground. So there were vigilantes of Museveni and his resistance uh, army uh, in, the, in, the, in the, I think in the late 80s and the early 90s. Mm -hmm. Now he finds himself con that someone contest and you see, when they started around the early 90s, they had, the elections were always happening. They always had elections happening. Now in 2001, he gets a contestation from one of the guys that was involved in forming those RC systems, RC, RC system. Basically, and therefore he's not sure whether these chairmen are his or not. So what does he do? Maintain the ones there, don't vote on it, and weed out uh, reform agenda guys. So that that he does very well, but he's not sure that if there is a contestation, uh, he would lose he, these LOCs now, which are which are RCs now. These LOCs, he's not sure of of them going forward. with basically coming back. So he remains at the measuring whether it is safe for him because he could lose grip or ground. And that took about maybe 16 years, 17 years of people being in office. People died and were replaced informally. And therefore, whenever they would replace the chairman, because the chairperson has died, you see, you can't have a system of, of across the country and the chairman, those days, we are old men. So you'd find if the man died, the eldest son would take over chairpersonship of that, of that village and would start issuing uh, stamps. Not voted, nothing done on them. And and so Museven is not, he's been part of this, but he also knows that though Bessie's contestation was, you would contest with him and get 12 votes, Museven gets uh, maybe 10. Yes, he has lost a, uh, an LOC1 an election as NRM. Now he knows that, for example, Busoga and Uganda, if they set by lining up, you could see the red wave sweeping the two, the two regions and Museven has nothing almost because even lining, uh, lining behind a bus, he knows, around those regions, is dangerous even for the voters. So what does he do? Extend it. And people say there's no money. Every commission has a budget that budgets for the whole year, brings to parliament. So if you know that you have an LC1 election coming up, LC1 election coming up, you must come with a budget. They have budgets for by-elections. They have been happening. 
They have budgets for new constituencies whenever they have had them, but they don't have about 60 billion shillings to inject in voting these guys around because Museven is not sure of where it would go. So he doesn't want to lose his grip on. So as well as you see them as local council governments, uh, government structures, Museven sees the city system as resistance, council, the same thing you did with the UPDF. Still, if you are given a number in UPDF, you are RO, resistance officer. You're never UPDF officer. It's the only number I know, I think, in the world that has, has a number that starts with resistance because it comes from a resistance. So, whereas M7 says it's the kind of post defense forces, the way they are trained, the way they are treated, is remaining resistance army officers uh, that, that rag tagged uh, uh, Gorilla. Um, mm sort of structure. So as well as you want to say they are local councils, may I still see them as resistance councils, and even losing them would mean that he has lost his resistance, and for him to keep his resistance, he must keep these local councils where they are, and the way, because he's not sure of political party, and, and also Museven has never supported Marit Party uh, participation and uh, democracy. That's why when they give us parties, Museven said to be Jeko, let's just give them these parties, they go and hang in there. So if you have them, they can't allow them. They don't want a person to know even the sign of a party at LC1, because this would mean that people say Noop is an umbrella, NIM is this. So he, has, he wants to remain with his best thing uh, within local council systems. And that's, I think that's the problem. All right, Brian, that is Brian's opinion. Doctor, what, what's your own making of this? Well, I think we should not beat about the bush. It's simply a lack of political commitment to grassroots democratization. And the building on the previous arguments, if you look at the introduction of local councils, which were formerly resistance councils, the president used to say that the people's chairman is their president. Your village chairman, mm. local council chairman, is your president because he's the one who attends to your immediate governance needs. Mm. So going by that spirit, you would imagine if the president meant what he said or what he says, you would assume that the local council one election is the most important election to the ordinary person. Because if you are attacked by thieves, you run to the co-council chairman. If you want to buy land, verification is by LC1 oh, chairman. Yes. If you have a domestic quarrel, LC1 chairman. If you need to, to process move even animals, yeah, move, to uh, the movement permits, yeah. LC chairman. You need to go to court, bail and the other issues. He's the one who identifies you as a resident of that place and therefore qualified for the jurisdiction of courts in that area. Then, you know, and in a sense, the LC1 chairman and the, the secretary for defense are the most important people to every homestead in the Arokarte. So when you look at the political mentality in the country, and, and, and uh, going back to the reason we didn't have a renewal of LCs in, 2000, in 2006, because that's when the, the idea that the, the political leadership can, in courts, get away with murder by neglecting democracy at the grassroots level started in 2006 after the return of multipartism. The movement, indeed, after stealing the name movement from the system to the party, never wanted to lose their political structures at the grassroots because of the merger. We all know that the NRM, the so-called the NRM structures that they claim to have all over the country as a mass party, 80% of those so-called structures are government structures, including RDCs, including now the grassroots local councils. So when there are elections, all you need to do is, that's why there was a time money was sent by village, by, by, by the now Minister for, for General Duties, the former Secretary General, mm. Uh, mm. Lumumba. She sent money per village using LC1s. 
NRM does not have. Yes, they have village committees, but they are merged. You no more get them from local councils. So the fusion of NRM party with the LC system is what conflicts the leadership not to lose ground through elections. That was the idea in 2006 after the return of Matpatism. They shied away from holding local council elections because they didn't know how many parties would now take up that grassroots structure that is powerful and mixed into their political mobilization structures. Indeed, like Brian has said, after the loss of Uganda and Soga to Tunub, NRM is not sure of what structures they will retain in the ROC system. Also, it is important to note that the lining up of it, as much as it causes other conflicts, mm. that you cannot rig an election it's not easy. where people are lining up. So after the massive rigging in, in the 2021 elections, NRM knows that the LC elections are going to expose them because the people have moved on. They are going to expose the true numbers of who would have been presidential elections that were manufactured by electoral commission. That's why you have this talk of no money. Otherwise, if you go under the constitution, the supremacy of the people, at Kohan is very clear. All leadership is derived from the people through regular free and fair elections. LCs are not an exception. And the same is repeated in Article 176. But doctor, just to uh, interrogate that, because when you make the assumption or the assertion that uh, the NRM is afraid of being exposed uh, by this particular election and that we would uh, get to see the actual... The uh, presidential the results are going to be reflected no, no, in no, the LOC voting. No, because my, my, that question, I can assure my question, doctor, is that the same people who will vote for the LC ones are the same who voted in yes, the if so it is different, is the yes, that's why, that is exactly Validation. why <laughs> NRM is worried. If you claim that you got 60% in Usoga, and we go for ROC, and you get 20, where will your 40% have gone if you didn't manufacture it? In Uganda, where you were defeated as a region, what happens then? to the claim of a mass party. That is what they are worried of. But, but, and they are but, hiding behind money. But if, if these fears did not exist in, 20, in 2006... They did exist. They did exist. Yes, that's why fear. we spent... Yes. No, no, no. That's why we spent 17 mm. years without er election at local councils. And for election to happen, FDC had to go to court. So, and <laughs> it's not even a question of money. Because it's only today that you can talk about the burden and the challenges with loans. But in 2006, was it a question of money? Why were local councils at the grassroots not renewed immediately after the return of multipartism? And why did we spend 17 year, years with one office bearers? Even LSC had become inherited. So your if, father, if your father was a chairman and they die, you would inherit the stamp. Um, so and then you start masquerading as a LC chairman. So if what NRM, was the problem? If NRM could overcome the fear of 2006, why can't they overcome the same fear? No, now? they didn't overcome I, I was coming, uh, moderator. The constitution. The constitution, uh, Mr. Moderator, under Article 1. Article 1 is entrenched. Even parliament cannot change it. Yes. Under Article 1, all power belongs to the people. Clause 4, the people shall elect their leaders at all levels through regular free and fair elections. When you come to Article 176, which establishes the local council system, Clause 3 is very clear that leadership in local councils shall be determined through regular elections by adult, adult suffrage. And they say the man of elections will be explained under Article 181, Clause 4. That is Article 176, Clause 3. When you go to Article 181, Clause 4, uh, local council elections shall be held every five years. This is the constitution of the Republic of Uganda. 
I've quoted three articles that take away even the talk of the president can direct does not exist in this matter. The president cannot direct on local council elections. We must follow the constitution. The purported guidelines of the minister are null and void. And I want to invite the opposition to go to court and even get the minister of local government arrested for purporting to usurp the power of the people. Okay. Um... Robert, how did we deal with just, 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 just for purposes of uh, the benefit of our voters? Yeah. When we had a situation in 2021, the COVID-19 situation, I think the president um, uh, used his powers to either to make certain di directives or guide in some way. And I think that is what you are trying to refer to earlier on, yeah. that he has certain powers and certain he has no know, powers. authority that he can, you know, at times, mm -hmm. more so when you're in such a difficult situation mm -hmm. to direct. But my question is that, on top of that, is that, do you think that could be a genuine concern? Do you think there could be a genuine concern of lack of funds? Because ideally, URA at the moment is struggling to even raise the 27 trillion that they promised to achieve. So, so could, could there be a legitimate concern that we don't have 60 billion, sorry, 60, yes, 60 billion Uganda shillings to hold that election? Well, thank you, Moses. Moses, government operates on uh, priorities, yeah? And the purpose of budgeting is that resources will never be enough. Mm. Even in your home, you can never have enough resources, fact or fiction. Mm. Now, um, I, I beg to differ with the doctor mm. when the doctor says that the president has no powers to really issue a direct cite the, the source. Uh, in the recent, when you talked about COVID, the president used his powers given by the constitution. For starters, the president is the, the heavyweight of the country, is the, the fountain of honor, is the the commander in chief of the armed forces. He has powers that the Under constitution. I'm, I'm yet to quote the article. I'm going to quote it. But I can guarantee you that the president has powers to. But going to when she said that uh, the, 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 the NRM is worried of losing elections, I beg to defer, doctor. Doctor, I will remind you with Brian that uh, in 2018, the NRM won across the country over 90 percent i'm yet to check the record but it should be over 80 percent after sending now, the 280 per video five years mm. down the road doctor is saying the nrm is worried of losing election when they won five years ago over 80 percent across the country mm. that's a lie and 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 for purposes of clarity and Let avoidance of them. doubt the nrm cannot lose elections on local councils that we must agree the, Before they are held, do you know that result? Oh yes, they, they are going to be held. And when we shall come back here? Well, no, no, I think he is he is evaluating from his yes. personal opinion, from what he observes and what he gets oh, to yes. mm. interact with mm. on a daily basis. Okay, yes. twenty eighteen, just five years ago, the party you're saying is going to lose won over eighty percent, including Uganda, which they lost now, that president. When you mention Uganda, you we need to interrogate. How big is it? Because what is the big. composition of, of Boganda? Because I, I quoted to you that we have over 81,000, about 81,000 local council uh, uh, local council positions. Let's intro, interrogate it. How big is the uh, uh, percentage? What is the contribution of Boganda and Busoga that you're talking about? I doubt it makes Can I, give him I doubt just, it just, makes forty uh, percent. To... I doubt it will make forty percent. Even less. Even it less. must be less. Yeah. Now going by doctor's assertion, still uh, the stats will the, the, the mathematics will 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 exonerate us the NRM. Because you see, when you say Boganda they lost, yes, I agree. But they didn't win in the rest of the country. Yeah, let's go to the recent election in Oyam. Mm. UPC won elections. Why didn't your FDC win? Why didn't your FDC win? Why didn't uh, uh, this uh, Bebe Wine is what? Nope. Mm. Why didn't they win? Now, 
Or you want to tell me that the NRM also reads the election? Now, the opposition is... Is that you piece of opposition? No, I, I will interrogate that at a later stage. The opposition is quick to say <laughs> that they, here they cheated us. How come the Honorable Zaka is always winning elections in the Mithiana? How come at NRM can't, mm. cannot read at that? At what cost? That's true. Mm. Now, I want to tell you that uh, the opposition... At the expense of his life. The opposition should stop politicking and come to a real, real work. Mm. I would urge my friend here, uh, Brian, to go on the ground. Go on the ground. Stop. Don't keep saying they are reaching, they are reaching, they are reaching. Mm. Go on the ground. How come sometimes you win? How come NRM is not reaging your Semujunganda in Chira municipality? You think NRM has no capacity to reach it? Now. When you win, it is legitimate. When mm. you lose, it is Just illegitimate. Mm. That's where the problem comes from. I can guarantee you that even if all the opposition by come together, mm. in Morocco council elections across the country, mm. they cannot win an area. That we can bet. You cannot even make 30, 35%. Because the NRM has entrenched itself down on grassroots. Mm. Whereas the opposition is excited in urban centers, mm. in the Kampara, the NRM is in the villages mobilizing. That's, where the, that's the point of departure. That instead of going to the village, or you want to tell me that the NRM is, reaches in the village but cannot reach in town, is that the assertion you want to bring forward? I, I will I, I, disagree. I, I, I'll answer you. Uh, I will yeah. disagree. So... I will uh, really, it, you can see that the NRM, even if election was, was to be conducted tomorrow, the NRM will still win across the country. You could win around Kampara, no problem. No problem. Mm. But what is the composition? On 81,000, over about 81,000 local council offices, what is the composition that you can sweep? It's, uh, I mean, Bugana constitutes, okay, Bugana and Musoka, maybe around 30%. Maybe of, around of that. that. Total number. You can even look at it in the, the August House, the parliament. Mm. When Noop came with about 50 something positions, they are excited around town. Mm. But they are forgetting that the NRM has over 300 something and they are still fighting to get more. So, in my opinion, I still disagree that uh, when the money is available, mm. I think government will come through and conduct these elections. And we shall come back here and tell you that the NRM won across the country. If this got this, the NUP got this. We shall come back here and, yeah. and discuss. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Uh, sorry, Robert. Brian, I want to come to you. And I want to pick it up from where Robert has stopped. And that is the grassroots entrenchment of the NRM. Oh, yes. The NRM, at least prima facie, from what we see, has youth council structures that go up to every single village in this country. They have the Women Council, they have the uh, Elders Council, Entrepreneurs League, and ETC. And all these structures go up to the village level. Part of the point of departure of General Mugisha Muntu from the FDC was that he felt the approach that you were taking as a party was contrary to his view. And that is why in ANT, his view is that we must go to the grassroots because he discovered that the NRM is entrenched at the grassroots level and he, and he thought that we cannot continue with this you know, uh, kind of activism, activism when we don't have real structures at the grassroots level. So is what Robert's saying an actual reality? And you're only denying it because you're on camera. You know, you know, you know the biggest problem is that non-FDC members discuss FDC in a, a way they don't understand. Just, First, like, just like how you discuss I, 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 want to, I want to know what FDC is. Mm. FDC's uh, leadership comes from the village. No leader of FDC comes in from Kampara. We are going for village elections. What is that? Haven't you seen our roadmap? But how robust No, 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 no haven't you seen our roadmap? How robust No, no, the problem also that you don't want to discuss is that if I call a, a Fuerari in the cheat, in the in the cheat, West, mm. where I was a candidate, to mobilize people, and I said, tomorrow FDC is going to be in the cheat playground, mm. we are going to call people to sensitize them on how to participate. That really might not happen. Because, because as well as you say, we are, we are allowed to, to participate in Kampara, even in Kampara we are not allowed. Actually, political parties in Uganda don't exist. 
but we, we, we have them as where we can always go and uh, maybe commensurate, talk together and, and make a strategy on how to break this dictatorial war. So for you to say, because a political party must be uh, saying we should stop, stop politicking, we are called a, we're political, a political party, but the, the first name is political party, mm. but it's telling us to stop politicking. <laughs> how can a political party fail to politic? <laughs> It, it must uh, be first of all politics and work fa yes first of all mm. political parties are formed to politics and mm. work mm. and work and work on what work on changing people to give them power mm. now if you don't allow me to, uh, to, 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 to access people you can't blame me for not accessing the military you uh, 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 me uh, you have had you have seen Chagurani or Besage being put in when they are in Kampara by the way what, what now I'm going to say this when Besage is in Kampara and goes to like a Kabo's radio to speak but whenever Bezi wants to speak like a real elder in Busoga, or in Acholi, or in Karamoja, or in Chigezi, even by phone, other DCs come and shut up radio stations. Mm -hmm. Unless you don't read the news, unless you don't fall. Mm -hmm. They even okay. drag okay. people okay. out they, of they the station. The they even drag them out of the because The, because the question this, that because, Robert because, put because, to you because is Robert, that because I'm telling how Robert, does, I am how telling does Robert, the Honorable Semuju I'm, I'm telling Robert, access those I'm, people? I'm, I'm telling Robert, mm. Semuju doesn't access them physically. It is via radio because in Uganda, and around there is some liberal because media. Of the there is elite numbers. Okay. Also, also there is there is a lot of uh, radio stations, so you can just one and speak or go on in TV, something like that. But if, even but, even even Oyam is is no the same no, no no. You see, you how see, was, you how see, was you Doctor see, Apio you see, able to access see, those your, people? problem. Also, you're Oyam are not discussing the, the, the behavior of Tango Doi. No, because uh, and, and, and also remember in the UPC, UPC, yes, uh, the UPC. Yes, you can imagine <laughs> they were fighting with the person they have. a a more of an understanding with, we, we, like, if I miss fighting with my, my wife and you think the other girl will survive. So they have a pact to work together. But even when the election started, they had to fight over it. Yet they have a pact. Now you can imagine if it was FDC, if it was Amriyat who was speaking, Tango Doi, arrested, ad, who had a election of a time, a decade's uh, house bombarded, everybody beaten, all agents arrested, Nyanjo taken to whatever they wanted, a decade taken away, the kind that arrested on the voting day, what are you talking about? And you want to tell now when when then you say NRM is strong in Soroti because Aliko won. Oh, okay, there, where oh, okay, they are where they, they, they arrested, <laughs> tore shots of the candidate, beat them up, and everything was upside down. <laughs> then you come and say seven actually actually seven is strong we because are, we... he won a okay, there. there are many so kayunga. So kayunga by election. Now you cannot use, you cannot use, uh, and, and, and uh, again, again, I want to tell him, at what expense, what is at risk when Samuj is, is, is winning? But also tell you that sometimes you can win an fair election. You can, it can happen and you win an fair election, but whole margins are very small. You might not get it. Sometimes, because I don't think Museveni to, 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 to win Uganda, but sometimes it is overwhelming support. That happens and you see it. But also tell him that uh, discussing elections is a good thing. But they must be free and fair. But in addition, regular. In this case, we're saying also one resolutions have become irregular. And you have uh, but there is history to that, and that's where we are. So I would want uh, the NRM guys to know that yes, you're not you're not in office mm -hmm. because people elected you. You are in office because the gun has decided so. Okay, just it was Brian. bullets, not barrels. No, no, Brian, Brian, just to interrogate that, do you come from the same constituency as 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 uh, Major Jim Mohezi? I come from the near, same district. Uh, no, no, I, no, no, I come from. I, no, 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 my constituents, our is, constituents, both does his. Both his. Yeah. Okay, good. Jim Mohezi lost in 2016, right? In a free and fair election. No, he was defeated. No, Jim Mohezi. He lost, right? No, Jim Mohezi. So, are you saying that? At that particular point in time, what, what I'm telling you is that he, even when he could have had the capacity to do what you're, what you're accusing the NM of doing, he did not do it. it did you, and he, he allowed the will of the people you see, you see, not to be subverted. I just tell him. I All right? So I, I, no, when, no, no. when, didn't, you see, when you see the, the, the moment you say, in no, the moment you say he allowed, he has he, lost. That he allowed, so he could even have denied. So when you say no, no, Jim was you, allowed, you is, are, there was are also accusing. a Jim denying. No. But but I want to tell you something. <laughs> I, I I don't I come from I come from Kanongo. It doesn't matter. Yes, I come from Kanongo. Yeah. And in 2001, Kanongo and Rukunji, I think, were still one district. Mm. The people who were killed in Kanongo and Rukunji, 
in that election the whole commissioner was manhandled by Jim Rose himself mm. on arrested beaten Gomesha na beaten brought that, that was as early as Jim Hoyes has been a, a very guy violent guy but you see 2016 16 maybe there was whereas whereas on 7 and his group claimed that we were rebels that's why in power 10 uh there was some power 10 that helped maybe to be more vigilant and that wasn't most person which you want us to mobilize when you did power 10 you you, you saw you saw the Electoral commission was handling it mm. because they feel that for anybody to go to the village it must be them and that's why we also believe that also won that election 2016 but of course we won't believe because we also aligned to nrm but uh the other thing the other thing you also forget is that jim who is when jim was is losing the, you, you know, you know what happened when, when, when Jim was lost. You, you know, you know some things were banned. You, you know, you know, you know it had to be beyond the Moses to get to get a parcel. They were bringing parcels on a table, like bring parcels with results, and a parcel with full full input results was put on the table. Biamcha gets and says, "This one, I die with it." Bless were fired everywhere. Biamcha was was a, Moses yeah. was taken like he said, "This one, I die with it." We are from Rujumbra. <laughs> and when they checked, yeah. when they checked after, the thing had had uh they call them what? The question forms from we, every from we prepared. Pre prepared to announce Jim Ways. That's so 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 that's if that was happening yeah. in front of us and we, we have that knowledge, state that he allowed, he didn't allow. How sure is he? That's uh, sure, my, because, no, 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 of course. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. That okay. is why I okay, said okay, these are Brian's okay, 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 opinions. Okay, okay, okay. And that's my right to but, them. But, 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 right? but, they, they are not backed but, but, up by but, 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 substance. Before, before, no, 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 he's here. Before any father, before any father, before you say, we went to Kunji for by elections in 2000 and... 2000 and... 2018 or 17, Betty Muzan against the Win Masco. Yes. In that election, we, ent you, we entered the, the tele center because I was there. You would, you, if, first of all, there were many people, yes? You see, to win the election, there was General Montu, there was Besage, there was Ingrid, was everybody was there. But even with all those eyes, in Uruguayan Shama, before the tele center, in Uruguayan Shama, where I was an agent, the army came with some people. That one was in the news. They, and those, those were, not, were, not, were, not, were not counted to, to, to show that what it was rigging. They beat everybody, got ballot, pap got ballot papers, ticked them, put them in a box, and went away. When Biabakama came with another Mafaba, I told them, this is, a, this is a crime scene, it's not it's a longer polling station. And the voting can longer continue because they called them that had stopped voting, that was the problem. So they came for my arrest. I said no. And because now, if you cannot count four polling stations because rigging was visible, Montos the cars, Ingudis the cars, Bezja's cars, we are for the whole day. They had to follow the votes into the tele center. But even in the tele center, we, we, you would hear people reading, uh, you had to have all electoral commission, first of all, to not blame agents. The role of electoral commission is to deliver an election as it was, vote, as it was conducted. The agents should just, just prove, but it shouldn't be the role of the agents to say, we, so Ingrid, Ingrid had every dear form in his hands, apart from one sub-county, which was delayed because it's very far towards the Kabai district. So you would hear votes being read and they are not tallying with what you have on the hands. So it, it took until morning to tally your own district. So they, you, you, they would bring a little commission, uh, NRM had theirs, but you'd find NRM sometimes has a, has a dear form, not signed, but tallying with the EC. But FDC has another one. So it would you would end like four, 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 four maybe twenty minutes. How do you go on the polling station? The lack, the only lucky thing was that there was already a code of honor, which was broadcasting what was happening. So everybody was working until morning. People from Rukunjiri, Kanung, Soro, the, the whole region never slept mm. he, hearing per polling station what has happened. So if you don't have, you can't have that uh, that 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 uh, energy across the country. Even if you have it in the people, it can't be broadcasted like that. So Rukunji's elections should never be discussed and be measured as free and fair elections. 
The last one is the case of Jill of uh, Garuga and the Babas. You need to go and read your, your rescue them. Okay. You, you'll be shocked at what happened there. To an to, 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 guy. We are discussing the natural resources. No, to be fair to him, there are so many other examples. There are so many other examples. Honorable Sekandi. That was Noop in Uganda. It swept. Then I am big win. Now can't go away. Okay, but doctor. Everybody was going away. My question to you is. And if there was they would go away as they went away. And the ROCs okay. are going to be swept. Doctor, they, but they can't allow them. But if, if they happen, they sweep them. Sarah, mm. my, my question to you is that uh, aren't your allegations and your opinions unfounded? Because the NRM is currently implementing the parish development model that goes to almost the lowest grassroots structure at the parish. And the should, NRM the government? The NRM government, rather. The NRM government. Get, get the, you can't use my taxes to say NRM euro. Okay. The, the NRM government. You want government. to campaign with the PDM cash. This the, is the, 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 the That's the NRM, another fraud. The NRM government. <laughs> and, and I insist. This is my money. And I insist. For money. Am I a founder for NRM? The NRM government. <laughs> the NRM government. It is the, it is the party in power. Oh, yeah. So it is the NRM government. All right? Is implementing the parish development it's model. It's better to say the government and is implementing. The, no, the, 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 the government no, is. It is the NRM power. government. So and, and, you, you, and, and, Uganda and, and, government. Only, NRM is just the part in for, power. It, it, but it, when you are saying government, okay. you can say the, the ruling the, 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 part, okay. but it's a Uganda but government. They are putting into action their manifest. <laughs> yeah, it is. Easy, you manifest. see. Oh, it, no, I, I, no, I no, no. Doctor, in a multi partner dispensation. No, no, no. Moses. No, no, no. Moses. Moses. It's not denied. In a multi partner dispensation, you can have a party in power, mm -hmm. but the government remains Uganda government. Mm. So you cannot say NRM government. That one, then you are talking of Chadon. No, the, the problem with him is that okay. the government of <laughs> Uganda remains government of Uganda. There's something okay. happening in Uganda. This is okay. the fraud. Okay. The, the Secretary General of NRM is the government of Uganda. Okay, okay. These, you okay. will define your time. Okay, these are semantics. These no, are semantics. I'm telling you, no, that this is the part of the fraud. This is the part of the fraud. This is the cabinet of Uganda. This, I'm telling you, no, I'm telling you, no, no, I'm telling you, no, 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 I'm Who telling you. Who sits in the cabinet? The Secretary General of NRM, whether it was... Uh, to On invitation of the President. He sits in the cabinet illegally. On invitation... Let me first get my time to discuss. What is your question? My question to you, Doctor, is that the government of Uganda... Yes. ...that is formed by the NRM political party, or the NRM party is the ruling um, party in Uganda, and therefore constitutes government largely. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is implementing the parish development model that goes to the lowest grassroots level. This program, with all its challenges, should it register prominent successes? Then I think your fears of the NRM losing grassroots support does not stand. Because the people at that level are in fact seeing what is the, the benefit. The question is, don't you, th <laughs> don't you think don't you think that the the service delivery of the NRM, taking services closer to the people, does it, it contradicts with your assertions that they don't have grassroots support because grassroots support is about do people feel services of the government if they feel so i i i, I don't see why they should not support you uh, let me first answer to the previous uh, allegations by robert and i wish you could mention the constitution this show goes on record it's a popular governance show where people speak with facts i want to repeat here today that there is no single article in the constitution that gives the president power to extend elections. And if you have that article, mention it, and it goes on record to the viewers and, and, and the record of the show that remains, or you retract the statement. I'm still waiting for those articles where you think the president can extend the mandate of the people. Having said that, I want to again assert here that it's NRM that is scared of holding elections. It's not that my fears, whether my fears are founded or unfounded. As a governance activist, I want to see, and I work to promote the constitution. I do not want any violation of the constitution. So, Let me first finish your my point. On, on the constitutional framework yes. and not on the fears. No, 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 no. Party. Moses, mm. I did mention at cause one, yes. please note them. Yes. At cause one, clause four. Yes. The mandate of the people 
to erect their leaders in regular free and fair elections. elections. Yes. This article is entrenched. Parliament cannot even amend, amend it. it. I mentioned Article 176.3. The leadership of LOCs shall be determined in elections by adult suffrage. Mm -hmm. Details to be explained in Article 181, Clause 4. Please get your digital version of the Constitution mm. so that we don't debate here like people in Marwa Port. <laughs> so when you go to Article 181, 4, it says leadership of local councils shall be determined every five years mm -hmm. in, in elections. Mm -hmm. Every five years. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when I state here that in 2006, after the return of Mart Party, NRM was scared of losing grassroots local councils. And indeed, they did not hold elections until 2018. That is not hearsay. It is factual. And Rama Rama, uh, then as chair of FDC Electoral Commission, had to go to constitutional court. To, to, to get paved way out of this irregularity. That's how we got elections in 2018. And how did NRM fare? No, that's not Please, that. Robert, can you behave? What? Everybody has time to talk. No, you no. said I, I do away with hearsay. Yes. Am I giving you hearsay? Well, what I submitted, can you call it hearsay? You quote for us the laws, and I agree with you. The hearsay I also quote the, the failure. It, uh, my, my calling this one a, a scare to lose grassroots is rooted in the failure toward directions after return of Madhpatism for the same group. But you're speaking of over, I don't know how many years ago, that, sir. What I'm speaking about, time. do you know what they call a president in law? Yes, I do. We have a president of Venaremu's fear told LOC 1 and 2 elections for 17 years, and it's on record, and it resulted into a Ramirama constitutional petition with a court judgment. It is not hearsay. This is the precedent I'm using to say that NRM wants to push the same irregardi to manipulate leadership at grassroots level. It is not hearsay. It has a precedent. Now I can go to your question of service delivery. Yes. So, but don't call my submissions. Yes. I speak on record. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Green <laughs> alternative facts. I have given you the law. Mm. I've given you a precedent. That is why I said you may... With a constitutional court why. decision. When you quote... It is not yes. When you quote the law, doctor, I agree I quote the law. I quote the practice. I, I quote a court ruling. I agree This is you. not yes. I agree with you on the law. My point of departure. The constitutional court is, decision is on the political analysis of things. Yes, the failure. Two, we last had 2001 elections. We failed in 2006 for LC1 and 2. We failed in 2011 mm -hmm. for LC1 and 2. Mm -hmm. We failed in 2016 mm -hmm. for LC1 and 2. We jumped three election cycles. Mm -hmm. This is not hearsay. It is the reality of this country. Okay, I. Okay, I, I get that point. I get okay, the, let I get me go now to your question. Yes, but don't call my solutions. Service, yes. service delivery. They have a record mm. with even a court decision. So when you got service delivery of NRM, my analysis on how NRM uses the fusion of grassroots to local councils with NRM structure is also not here. It is something that happens. And you can confirm it with some leaders in some villages. Some leaders on NRM structures are the same leaders in local council. How do they get the local councils? So you have this fusion at the grassroots level. The state capture in this country is not just at is, the level of courts and parliament. We've ever discussed state capture. I don't want to go into is, the definition. Is that fusion and constitution? Of course. What is wrong with me being a member of the NRM and at the same time, I am a chairperson of the local Let government. Let me first define for you the meaning of state capture. I think that's where you get to rest. You look at what's happening in Ukedea. You have electoral commission on the ground. You have structures on the ground. Police, RDC who is a chair of security in the district. Mm -hmm. You have ISO, BISO, PISO, BISO. You have all that structure. 
mm. in the district. One would assume that the president's letter on Ukedea, where he said that he's reading a film, and it, for me it's very unfortunate. I, I wish I could laugh you know, about it, that the president of a country analyzes issues that are happening under his rotten leadership, like really watching a film. So when the president says, I have been briefed by this candidate, the issues they are talking about, it's like I'm watching a film. Then you wonder, what is the job of a village internal security officer, parish internal security officer, sub-county internal security officer, county or district internal security officer, RDC is the head of the district. The DPC. The DPC. The UPDF. You know, what is the role of all these people? And the multiple security, you know, securitization of, of Ugandan civic life, where a president gets information. And for me, the violence in Ukedia was nothing compared to Karungu and, and mm. Sorot East. But the president said, I am reading, and you put it in writing that I'm reading the film. About your country that you read is even in charge. So, so what the president calls reading a film? Do you think there was no service delivery in Bukede? You said NRM gives service delivery. When the president says I'm reading a film, you think there was no service delivery in that district? Why all of that chaos? Do you think there was no service delivery? I'm now asking no, even if you are a moderate. Political contestations. <laughs> I think are inspired that is by many the fear. reasons. That is the fear. Let's go even into two sides. Of course, we have had increasing election violence in this country since a, 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 a systematic increase since 2001. Even in 1995, there was an election violence in Urukunji. We had some other areas and other areas was stoned and others. But in 2001, it became clear that we cannot have a free and fair election in this country. And it has been on an, uh, the increase. And who is the beneficiary? The no, seven no, and his party. If you saw the drama in Kampara, the killings, we are now going to go into three years anniversary of the nine and uh, November. Uh, November 9th, I think. 18th, 19th. Mm. So we have 18, 11, or 11, 18, something. We have our own version of like 9, 11 in the US. So those killings in November, with no single person being brought to book, isn't that a film? I think the the culprits were arraigned in the court martial. Give me just one name. I, I, I don't know them by name. Nothing. But they were arraigned in the court martial. That's why you don't even know a name. Nobody has ever been punished was, was for the November killings so in the campus. Commanders are not known? Sorry? Commanders are not known? The, the culprits. Commanders are not known? Who? Nobody, I am saying it, nobody has ever been punished for the November killings. That is violence in 2021 elections. If you move out from, wasn't that film enough for Ugandan? Families who buried their smaller children. There is a family of Mukisa which has been waiting for judgment before Justice Sekana. Murdered at 17, 15 years, leaving a shop with his mother. So many other people that were murdered. Isn't that a film for Ugandans? And an one at that. You go to Karungu. A candidate was shot. All MPs, opposition, any opposition person arrested. Media arrested, beaten. Isn't that a film? Go to Sorot East. So if your government, sorry, if NIM government is giving service delivery and is comfortable of people's support, <laughs> why is this violence and chaos? Well, that is on the assumption that the violence is uh, inspired by only one side. I think also there are elements that at times um, inspire or uh, lead. Give uh, us evidence. You know, we are telling you people are shot by us. security agencies. Give us evidence of the well, other side. We are due for a short commercial break. And to the viewers, yeah, this and much more will continue after uh, your either tea or water break. See you. The Citizens Chatroom happens every Friday at 2 p.m. on Civic Space TV online on Facebook and YouTube. We invite you to be part of this conversation. Civic Space TV, freedom always. Ah, we'll be back from that short uh, commercial break. And we shall just pick it up from where we stopped. Robert, 
still on the issue of a local council election that we are discussing here, as we tend to shift a bit the conversation towards uh, the effectiveness of these institutions, I think that is fundamentally important because someone would ask then how how effective are they, you know? But also, uh, is is would we would we would we lose sleep if we do not have these over 80,000 elected leaders replaced? Like, I mean, what is the worst case scenario? Oh, Moses, it's, uh, of course, this it's uh, at stake. These are 81,000 positions. Mm. Now, for starters, local council are the first resort. Local councils are the first resort for poly, uh, for the one inch. Number two, it gives a background, or if you like, a background for the political infrastructure of this country. So when you don't have local councils in office, come on, it's a, it's a mistake. Like I said, the mathematics says 81 times 5, that's 400,000. A staggering 400,000 elective position at grassroots level. So when we, are, we don't have these people legally in office, it's a mistake. And I wonder why we reach in this position. I would agree with these people. Although I don't agree with them that they will win ele uh, elections. We are not saying we shall position. win. We, we are saying win. hold the election. Hold it. Yes. I agree it, with you. Yeah, no, on, from, on that, I also agree. Uh, from that point, that is why, that is why I say that the results will determine. They, they have a case when it comes to the to, legal perspective. Yes, but the political entire, analysis of it, I think that I agree with you. Hold them, the election. We shall analyze but, but, the but, but, but results. But I also hope you know the politics why determines the, 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 the raw regime. The politics, the politics determines people in power determine what the role becomes. So there, there cannot be role without politics. So, actually, sorry to intervene, oh, Mr. Mahiri. Mm -hmm. If you need the guns, bullets, like in Kayunga, Soroti, Oyam, soldiers to ballot stuff, you must be worried of a local council election. Where it is by right now, there is nothing to ballot stuff. And you don't want, maybe, to take your third behavior. But, but, no, but in 2018, in, the same 20 process 18, was, okay. was there. Hold okay. them. Okay. What was the difference? Hold Hold them. Them. Whatever the Where, results. No. Robert, I have to ask. There was no noop. There, there, there was no noop in 2018. The difference is that there was no noop, there was no red car, there was no umbrella. Hold and them. Robert, Hold Robert, them. There was, there was a, a very strong FDC. Yes, yes, yes. We are just saying so one simple thing. Thing. Hold them, please. We are saying Hold them. one simple thing. Hold them. <laughs> this is our constitution. <laughs> yes. Hold direction. Or respect the constitution. You shall discuss that them. Yes. The yes. results shall discuss them. Yes, I, 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 I agree. I agree yeah. because the 1997 Local Government Act and as amended 2010, uh, provides for these elections. So I agree in entirety yeah. that we need these elections. True. As to whether the opposition will sweep uh, the establishment across the country is another conversation. But you and me know that you can't really do much in the grassroots elections. In Kampara, you can do much. But, 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 but even in Kampara's grassroots, every one is a grassroots, even in Kampara's is, grassroots, uh, don't confuse grassroots for rural. They are different. The word grassroots means on at the, at the best. So there's even grassroots in Kampara. The urban. villages are grassroots. So don't confuse villages the people, the viewers, and grassroots urban. for urban. No. no have grassroots here. What, what he is saying is that take, take an example of Ruvaga, where the majority of the local council leaders in Ruvaga are NRM. All right? Now, these local council leaders come from that grassroots level yes, that said, you are talking he's, about. He's, 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 so he's, you, he's you, you are his making talk, a facade. His talk is you as, are if, making as if Kampara has no grassroots. He's saying you win in Kampara, but you, you go to the grassroots. No, Kampara has grassroots. You, you, I'm going to say. Actually, but also Kampara, Robert, you are not going to win 100%. Exactly, because look at the... Look you are at, not win 100%. Look at the town councils, or, I mean, like, district councils. Mm. Ruwaga, Kawempe. NRM has local council leaders in those district councils, so many of them. And these are the so-called grassroots leaders. Mm. So, I, I, and, and I think that is, the, that is the misgiving that Brian and uh, Doctor are trying to portray. What's oh, yes. the misgiving? That, that, that NRM has no grassroots support. support at all. 
in I disagree. Urban we did central. not say it at all. Mm. At all is your insertion, and you own so your they words. They don't have popular support. No, no. With the way you're putting your it, with the way you're putting it, I said no, 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 Mr. Moderator, please. You know, should you hold elections? There is, there is. No, no, Mr. Moderator, please, Mr. Moderator. I think it, it's for the benefit of the viewers. Mm. We said NRM is scared of losing ground on the grassroots. It has it, but can lose it. What do you say? They are so when it reduces, you have lost it. Okay, okay. I like his admission. It has it. It has it. But they are scared of losing it. They are scared of losing it. I like his so, admission. No, not admission. I said it. But, <laughs> and I told you, I called it the RCs, not LCs. They, have, they are scared of error. Most finally, the R might be expressed for air. For air. You know, yeah. we don't I'm, have air, I'm but... sure if uh, we conduct elections right, yeah, yeah. for local councils, the talk will change, the conversations will change when you come back here. Mm. When the the election happened, the talk will change. Just hold the elections. Absolutely. I'm sure the government <laughs> must be, I'm, I'm sure, I think, they must be thinking about it. Yeah. Avail the funds, the electoral commission, have these elections uh, conducted. Uh, so that you, you, these people, the local, the chairperson, and they, they can have the mandate because as it is, as it stands, it's an illegality. And whichever work they do is null and void and therefore ultra virus. So, uh, going by that, they are, they are not in office legally. Mm. So, I would urge government, in my opinion, to conduct these elections and show opposition. But they have said the Museveni can give them a breath, a breath, some, breath, some breath using some laws which are as they have not they quoted don't the law. They don't exist. They haven't quoted the law. We need to interrogate to go forward because the exist. Museveni can breathe, uh, give they fresh air and they can continue moving like people on oxygen. They should know. They don't exist and I want to invite the opposition to go to court. They don't <laughs> exist. But they can also, can go. the parliament also exist. can come up with an amendment, Doctor. Of the constitution? Yes. Let them amend that Article One. It's by referendum. No, no, not Article One. Yes, Article One says people will elect their leaders. They idols. can amend. He does. He does include errors. Act- so you need to go to Article One Four and say the people shall elect their leaders through periodic, uh, uh, you know, regular free and fair elections, except for LRC One and Two. That's the not amendment. Really, the amendment we are talking about is either to extend or something. Either to find uh, the way forward. That's what we are talking about. We are not saying the president can say, "Stop, we don't need local councils." That's you, doctor. You seem to insinuate that. That's not what we are talking about. <laughs> even even so I never said stop. Just them. for simple information, mm-hmm. even during COVID, when NIM was thinking with extension of elections, mm. we brought it to their attention that no authority in Uganda has power to extend an election. No authority. I am talking as a constitutional lawyer. Well, uh, we agree with you, doctor. But, I mean, uh, Article 99... Says five... the president shall protect the constitution. The one is using to give it but God directive. You are selective, doctor. You are choosing one. Okay. You are choosing one clause. There are many, there are about five. She's choosing one. I'm the getting for you that. Read it. Mm. The executive authority of Uganda. Is vested in the president. Yes. Who shall exercise it in accordance with this constitution? Read the article. Stop misreading people. Let me read, so read it. I, 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 I think that... Our constitution it. is very clear. The president cannot usurp the power of the people. He has also, he has also usurped it, but uh, using... Is, using Let him read. Now... Article 99. Read it. Executive authority of Uganda. Mm. The executive authority of Uganda is vested in the president. And the president shall exercise it in accordance with this constitution. Thank mm. you. Now, the one I was talking about is five. Read it. A statutory instrument or other instrument issued by the president or any other person authorized by the president mm. may be authenticated by the signature of a minister. Mm. And the validity of any instrument so authenticated shall shall not be in question. Mm. Yes. So that so it that, that, is, it that is the executive that. power. Yes. You know the that. you know our hierarchy of rules. Mm. Where does yes. the statutory instrument lie? It is after 
It's the next to regulations. No. Mm. After our higher act of laws is the Constitution, the Constitution, the Constitution Act of Parliament, of Parliament a statutory po- instrument, no. and then regulations. No. Policies and regulations, then a statutory instrument. Mm. And, it, and, last, and it must respect it all the above. It cannot be the Constitution. It must respect all the above. It must be it's it not all the above. It cannot be the Constitution. Okay. I think, yeah, Robert, you But Moses, uh, all hope is not lost. Mm. The, my colleagues here seem to, to suggest that all hope is lost. Mm-hmm. I beg to differ. All hope is not lost. Yeah. I believe government will come up and, and avail the funds. Electoral commission is ready. The only thing missing, the only missing link is the money. I'm sure well, money is going to come through and elections are going to be conducted. But you know that the money is seven, it's in 30 days. The money that we are lacking to use to do, uh, if we seven president of the country for 30 days, we shall have that money. You know that. Or if, or if, he, or if he bugs his greed by seven billion sh- two billion sh- every day, day per day. So if it's two billion shillings per day, 30 days, just one month, is uh, uh, what he eats with his old wife and the, his grandchildren at home in the evening. Grandchildren are in their parents. I don't know where they are. Maybe. May, 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 I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, but maybe. And his visitors, if he uses that, if he can just cut uh, by one month, but, just just at least one month of his lunch and supper, breakfast, we shall have those elections. But for purposes of clarity sure, and sure. avoidance of doubt, mm-hmm. this money is given by parliament in the budget. The budgeting, I don't think the president says, give me this money. He goes through the budgeting process. Why can't parliament say, no, we are not giving you this money? The, 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 this is looking stick. Who comes up it's with the captured. budget? It's also captured. It is, Who does the budgeting? Of course it is parliament. Who they, passes the budget? They do appropriate. So, what how, is, but, who, but, but that how means is the budget your MPs, done? The first person MPs, that budgets is a user department. Yes. User department. No, let's look at the process. User department, Minister of Finance, then budget, which is largely a rubber stamp when you talk parliament about the uh, state. So the final yeah. say is with parliament. Is with parliament. Mm. They keep cutting, they keep cutting monies, and we've seen it. Like All what? the time they keep cutting the money. I dare them to cut money for security, classified expenditure, and state house. I dare them. They would cross, so you see, if, a parliament, if, a parliament if, where, where I'm seven can walk through his door of his office using his army, they enter, beat everybody to pass a law. Cannot be saying that for them, they cannot pass a budget when someone wants it. So, so please, we have seen them being beaten, band road like chicken thieves. So, some of them are still, <laughs> some, of them, uh, uh, some of them have metals in their backs for them to sit. So, that parliament you're discussing is the hoax. No, I think I am realist. I think calling a parliament a hoax yeah. is a can they be beaten? No, no, I, no, I, I, I think Brian, can they be beaten? Brian was a candidate. In the most recent election, yes, a, a candidate yes. to go to the same parliament. Yes. I knew I would be beaten. Oh yes, that, I knew I would be beaten. That he, he I, I never saw that the way if he I is doing so. I, so I, I, why I knew I would be beaten. Brian was a hoax. He came to be exactly. to come and the fight and be beaten, not to come at the rubber stamp what Museveni wants to pass. So there's so so, so don't so think is that an indictment on, for example, your uh, political party MPs? Are they not fighting enough? No, they are not. They are not. So meaning the same would you no, 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 I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm saying they are not, some are not, not some are not. They are private but members of that mm. they keep bringing mm. like, like, are not necessary. Uh, no, when, how, how, how many, so how many, how, how, how many have, have gone through from opposition and it's the one of homosexuality which was, which was campaigning for seven think it's, you see, you see this, you see these guys, you see these guys. Brian, Brian, you were candid to go to the same parliament. Yes, to come and fight in parliament. That you're now describing as a hoax. And I'm asking you. To come and fight that hoaxism. So does it mean that the ones who are there they are, they, from, from your political party uh, no, are not no, fighting that hoaxism? No, some of them, others are not. So others have been comfortable with the status quo. They mm. also pass those budgets the way they want no. to pass them. Some of them are my political parties. Others are these people you see joining MK project from NOOP. So they are there. So not every, don't, don't use uh, my political party MPs to bundle them in one kind. No, mm. some are different. But, uh, but uh, again, there is something that you said about service delivery. I think I was, should, see, today we, I think today we start debate one. We lost seven babies. Uh, in the in the best, in what should be the most referral hospital for women in Morago. Seven babies because power went off. You saw it. Mm. You know about it. So those 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 mothers that are there, how do you tell them service delivery when you cannot just give them power in Kampala here? How about the mother in Chihi? 
where you come from. If you can. But we saw when Barimus was taken. What yeah, yeah, yes, that? yes. When Barimus was taken to Kamboka <laughs> Hospital, <laughs> he, he he has, a... a chopper had to be sent <laughs> for him to come back, he, to, to come to Kamboka. They could have the and, give and, him and, Yes, they could give him anything. Could, actually, actually <laughs> some of them can't even allow a nurse or a doctor in those hospitals to touch them because they know it is a death. So when you say they have. They could, <laughs> yes, they, they can't allow the hospitals to touch, touch them. So my biggest problem with you guys is thinking. Because when I get sick, I never think about the government. I think about my pockets. If my child gets sick, my pockets. So there's no service that you talk about in, the, in this sense. If you cannot just provide power and use seven babies, and in, in, in a serious countries, in mind, in serious countries, government should have collapsed. Yeah. Seven babies, because there's no power. Government should have collapsed. But we are here discussing, and you're saying legal, legal, uh, legal regime, you're discussing service. And celebrating service, fabricated, fabricated numbers. numbers. But lastly, Museveni had Bonaba Gagawa. Did it work? It did not this work? Did Entunguka work? Do you think this one would work? It also won't work. But it is a, it is a platform for him to run across the country giving uh, handouts, giving uh, brown envelopes, and, 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 and entrenching his patronage system. It's nothing to do with the development. Let's not be stupid when we are very brilliant, when we are red. At least I think, moderator, you are very exposed. I think you, I thought you knew these things. But so if you don't know, then I have told you. It's, it's, it's a platform for because 17 million per parish. That's the money I could be using in a year in my home. Yes. Brand is a, must be very extravagant. <laughs> no. I mean, but what, how much is my rent? How much is my rent? How much is my food? You think it's extravagant? No, I'm, asking, I'm asking him. It's how much is enough. my rent? How much is my food? How much is my transport? My transport? How, how, ma much, is how much is my clothes? Child, 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 child support? How much is it? So you think if I use 1.5 million? You need a minimum of 3 million. I think actually I need, I need 3 million. I am Brand, still... Brand, I need 36. Can I, can I, I ask you a question? What I need. Can I ask you a question? The, the other one is 2 billion. At and he doesn't earn children like me. At what interest At what interest rate do commercial banks lend money? 19%. Per year. Per annum. Per annum. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So if... Government is giving you an opportunity to have access to credit. 17 million? With the most... So how many youth? No, I, I, I mean, even if it is 1 million and you plan for but it well, it is something. All right? So would you, would you rather go to DFC Bank and get a loan that will accrue an 18% interest? Actually, what you're saying is wrong. No, so, access so, to credit so, is so, important. So, so, to grow, you must enable access. these communities yes. to access credit even from commercial banks. That would make you more money than giving them handouts and brown envelopes. No, the point is access to credit. There's no credit. There's, no, there's, there's nothing you can do with 17 million shillings in a parish that would develop the parish. There's nothing. You, know, you see, you see, you see. There's nothing. That's your Brian, budget. You're a poor country. Brian has you don't an, have the money. No, no, no. You're a poor country. No, 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 no. no. Robert, ask yourself, mm. what are the people at the village level engaged in? These are farmers, right? So they don't Mose, have Mose, the utopian Mose, idea Mose, that Mose, Brian Mose, has. Mose, Mose, that you need a recent Mose, Mose, said that the only see a back, a back to, for you to know that a country is very backward is when people. He must say when people are engaged. In subsistence agriculture, when people don't live, when people don't live in urban centers and they live in the villages, that was Museveni in his last speech to Parliament when he was when he was lying to us that he has COVID. The day he lied to us, that's when he said that, those answer. things. Okay, Robert. Yes. We. Uh, hey, I thought to we took a bit of your time. No, we took some part of his time. Oh, yeah. That so, so we shall allow him to conclude. Then we shall move towards the side. Thank you, Moses. Now, Brian. Brian sounds. Like he lives in oblivion, he sounds he has brilliant utopian ideas. Yes. But also, I want to remind him, I want to invite him to appreciate that when you don't have resources, you work within your means. I don't want you to think that Uganda has uh, too much money. We are living in our means. Yeah. Um, all hope is not lost, like you sound, you seem to sound. Like Uganda is a dead, everything dead. Come on. I want to invite you to appreciate that we have a good image internationally. I invite you to appreciate <laughs> that, that the, 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 we are not the way you're talking. I'm telling you that the abuse of rights are everywhere. Yeah. 
Including I don't want America. you to, everywhere, yeah, including, the the US, the right. including the U.S. That's what they write. Including the U.S. Including the U.S. That's the way they say. I don't want, we, I don't want us to use a one isolated case, a one or two. Which one? To make a conclusion. I mentioned the manner. Now, so, so many people say, U.S., everything is perfect. Everything is perfect. Come Ooh, on. I said that. It's until you reach there that you say, hey. So this one is also happening. This one, there are beggars on the street. These are beggars in America. Now, you, I don't want you to lie to Ugandans that all hope is not lost. I mean, all hope is lost. <laughs> that is no. a good statement. No. <laughs> Uganda is still a good country. Have some good languages. Appreciate, give credit where it is due. Mm. Yeah. Don't have only negativity. I don't hate Uganda. Because you seem to sound like everything is bad completely. There is no, no perfect that is world. His opinion. We are in a mess. Yes. There is no perfect world. Fact or fiction? I, I think maybe a perfect world shall be in heaven. There is no perfect world. I'm sure if FDC took, a, a, to, 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 a, took over Uganda, I'm sure we shall see, still sue. See the same problems. FDC I'm sure if that, that cannot uh, handle its internal if, if Noop, democracies. How? I'm sure if Noop took how can leadership they of this, this country, country, we shall still have issues in this country. So I don't want it to sound like there is going to be a perfect Uganda. Never. You will never have a perfect Uganda. And number two, you will never have a hundred percent budget. You will never have everything you want in this world. But can we work within our means? Yeah. Uh, the, the topic of today was LOCs, but you know, we went so far, we went so far. But yeah, mm. I conclude by saying that we need LOC elections. A hundred percent, I will agree with you as to whether you're going to do wonders, your party is going to do wonders, is a debate for another day. <laughs> we shall come back here and interrogate how you fared across the country. Now, the mod moderator, if you allow me kindly, I wanted to talk about the the lining up in the backs of the candidates. You know, lining up, I think it was seen uh, by the framers of this constitution that universal adult suffrage was a good thing. It was, it was a good thing. Lining up creates fear. It, it, it creates differences within families. I want you to use your imagination, Brian, you come with your wife at the polling station, she lines up behind the doctor, you line up behind me. Mm. I'm not sure about the conversations you're going to have in the house when you go back. So lining up, I think in the future, government should think through, yeah? And maybe we have uh, a secret ballot for the local council elections. Mm. I'm not in for lining up, although uh, it, 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 there is a transparency. But have you thought about the differences it's going to cause in the people? Have you thought about friends going on the polling station and they line up in different backs? Mm. Have you thought about the kind of differences it's going uh, to bring through, as opposed to if you had the secret ballot? Yeah. I think in the future we should think about it and have a secret ballot for local council elections mm. so that although government says that the lining up saves money, mm. that's what they are saying, it saves money, Instead of using 50 billion in buy, in getting the ballots and stuff like that, we can line up. I understand, notwithstanding that. But yeah. on the other hand, it has issues in the in the differences in the people, head trade. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Um, even yeah, I think there is consensus here that we need the else elections to happen. Oh yes. Yeah, and that it is counterproductive for that vacuum to exist. Now, doctor, uh, looking at the nature of elections and the nature of LC elections, the whole lining up bit and, you know, ETC, do you think perhaps what Robert is saying uh, makes uh, uh, sense that moving forward, perhaps we could consider reviewing even how we hold these LC elections? I, I, I mean, why do you hold them differently from how we hold other general elections? Why the difference with with LC. In the constitution, the, the, the law prescribes for secret ballot for presidential and parliamentary elections. And the constitution states that parliament 
will determine how other elections are held. That's where the problem comes from. When a decision to use lining up was taken, civil society organizations went to court to challenge the constitutionality of lining up and the possible undermining of the secrets of the ballot. We lost because that's what the, the extension of state capture. You know, at times has no ex exceptions. Do I agree with the lining up? I mean, what choice did I remain with as, as a civil society actor? We protested before parliament. We protested in courts and lost. What choice do I have? And my opinion is clear. The secrets of the ballot is important. But the powers that be don't want it that way. Because I want to talk about the issue of money no, or just, cost just for elections. Be, before we shift, just on that point, Doctor, is that earlier on, your confidence with the LC elections was the mere fact that they can't they be are rigged. By you can't up. do ballot stuff. Yes, and you, and you cannot rig. That's would, the only would, advantage. I know I, I own principle, I am mm. opposed to any manner of elections that takes away the secrets of the ballot. I am opposed to that. Even with the risk that come with the... Oh, the thuggery that the, in the vulgarization of elections by NRM and M7, it's a shame. But that does not take away the principles of a free and fair credible election. Secret ballot is secret ballot. It's one of the key principles of a credible election. The, the vulgarization notwithstanding. Mm. So if I was given a choice, I would choose secret ballot. Because that is the key principle of a free and fair election. So uh, uh, even when you put all soldiers, you know, I am the 100 soldiers at that polling station where I, can, I was crying, you know, ballot staff in, in, in Soroti, within two hours, they were telling voters, we have finished voting for you. The army. The vulgarization notwithstanding. The, the ballot, the choice of a voter should remain separate and protected. So, I want to talk about wh how did we get here that we are discussing elections or whether our opinions, whether they should happen or not, when the matter is resolved in the Constitution. For me, it is unfortunate that we sit here and we solicit opinions. Should elections happen? I agree with you, they should happen. It is not a decision for us to make. A decision was made in the Constitution which is the supreme law of the land. What we can agree with is that it's unfortunate that a government which claims to be democratic fails to execute its constitutional obligation. That's what we can agree with. But a decision as to whether elections, it is, not our, it is not in our space to make. It was made on behalf of all Ugandans by the framers of the constitution. And we all abide by the, that constitution as is. You, you can only change that if you are proposing to amend. So I think what we agree with is that the, the, the people who, who make decisions for this country are violating the Constitution by not availing funds for these elections on time. Elections are supposed to be held three months before the office bearers, you know, quit. But we have office bearers quitting on 10th July, and you have no plan for their replacement. And you are fighting to find a loophole in the law which doesn't exist to extend. They have, uh, by the way, now you can't even extend because they've already elapsed. If you wanted to extend and had a way to extend, you extend before they elapsed. Now they've already elapsed. They yeah, are no they, office they, they must bearers. Have home. You cannot extend non existing <laughs> office bearers. <laughs> yes. So now even that room has no, lapsed. You can't extend a, a, an office bearer who has who no longer occupies office. They should have extended them maybe by the, at the beginning of July. If, but the law does not allow for extension, for usurping of people's mandate. So how do we get to such a position where we are today? During the budget presentation, the permanent secretary and secretary to treasury, who leads the budget process, said 
they have budgeted for all statutory obligations. It's important to note for the viewer that we also don't have money for, for census. It's not just terrorist elections. We have another planning crisis. Today, the, the census secretariat has announced that they don't have a debt. They have indefinitely suspended the conduct of census because they don't have money. So are we bankrupt as a country? I know at the time when the last census was conducted, and the census is supposed to happen once in 10 years, and it's a constitutional, it's a constitutional duty. The same like local council obligations. These are issues that should not even be debatable. You can only discuss. Electoral Commission presented a budget of 90.8 billion, and they were given, allocated 35.6 billion or about there. You can only discuss how much, and, and they say they are unable to hold directions. So the question that you should ask then is, where do we get money for directions? Because each direction costs about one billion. In Oyamu, we used the 90 billion. Electoral Commission used the 90 billion, 900 million. So if a direction costs almost one billion, and some of these directions are not are unforeseeable, like an MP has died. You don't. Mm. Where does that money come from? That's a good point. Don't they, don't they plan for obituaries, something like that? How do you plan that how the 10 MPs are going to die in this no, parliament? Like, I mean, like sort of a miscellaneous <laughs> expenditure that you... That you, you see, my, the point I'm driving to at deal with is that it is so not a lack of money. It is not a money question. It is a political question. That's my point, so, and that's my submission. So is, is, the, cons is the census con con conduction also a political question? Because census builds into the national register. You see, once you don't critically think, the, the voter register, once you don't critically think about these issues, then you think, hey, it's okay, we don't have money, let's find it. No, let's stop vulgarizing the sovereignty of Ugandans. The national census. Is the best document for planning, for all planning in the country. The, the data in the national census can be juxtaposed with the voter register. And the census is a political tool. Okay. Uh, Brian, I'm thinking about uh, the ordinary Ugandan in the village X or Y, who is not privileged to partake of this conversation. And they don't even know that their LC1 or LC2 has have expired. expired. So they are going to continuously so the, reach out to these people. <laughs> Just a joke. Yeah, sure. They so, they are sovereign, the sovereignty powers expired the same like degrees, like what the <laughs> National Council did. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 yeah, good job. Um, Brian, the fate of these Ugandans at that level. I don't know, they don't even know that their LC1 or LC2 has expired. And they are going to continuously reach out to these people for services and things like that. So for how long can we take without having substantive office bearers? I, I, I mean, what is the level of, of gross impact? It is, it, I think, I, think I, I don't want to go into that debate. I just want to make it simple, let me say, um, the pistols have taken over, they are there, they stamp for them. We will go into military rule because that's where we are. The pretense that uh, that the local car, yes, they have expired, but I, do, I will not blame any woman who got because you have not provided for a platform. First of all, to give her information, she doesn't know. It's also the role of government to make sure information, governance, information trickles down the last person. Mm. So you're saying government is inefficient in giving poor information, but you have mentioned it in English. But the usual thing is that government is not giving people information because they should have make sensitizations on radio, adverts, and tell them th things have expired. They don't want to tell them because they want to continue with the illegality. But you want me to be to be bothered by the village woman rather than the one causing the illegality. Let's tackle the cause, not the not this uh, the symptom. The symptom. But um, mm. he said that I I speak as if Uganda is done. You know. You, you know, in my language, there is a, a proverb where I say, like, 
your house is burning and you're saying, Madam, telling your wife, make our bed. I don't want to participate in that. I will participate in extinguishing the fire. This man, when I'm, when I'm telling you we must extinguish the fire, he's telling the wife the day the bed, where? When the house is burning, you'll be burnt there. So our house is burning. And it's not, and you see when you say your has no money, how much money have you taken operation Shuja? No, just to Roko at Roko. Roko asked for 90 billion. Yes. But by the time parliament approved it, it was 200 billion. 200 and that's more than what the Roko commission is. And forced it through the people. The, that's the eyes have it and that's the eyes double, having it. More than double. What the Roko commission is. Roko, operation Shuja, our, our, our. It's our, not a question of money. Central African Republic, we have money. But the priority, the, the prosperity, the, the, all the money we get in Uganda is intended to keep one man in power. Just the people, every person is there on their own. Just to know when you pay tax, they never come back to you. The other day I was asking, I, I asked this question here on uh, this show. That's it again. A boda boda man in my village uses five liters of fuel every day. On each liter, there's about 1,500, right? That's about 9,000. This means 10,000 shillings every day as a taxpayer to the country. That about the border man. Liters of petrol. Let me say, maybe. Okay, minimum. Minimum, five, maybe six. But I'm saying at least minimum, 10,000 shillings daily. Over one month, he pays 300,000 shillings in tax. Indirect tax, yeah. It's direct because they are taking it from him. It's direct, man. Fewer, it's direct. Now, you get, you get this 300,000 times 12 months, 3.6 million shillings for 12 months, right? Now, when this guy takes the child to school, UP school, government of Uganda gives him 400, 400 shillings capitation grant to the child. So the child whose father pays 3.6 million shillings, his child is given about 10,000 a year or 12,000 a year. That's one. But two, when this man child uh, uh, goes to hospital they will either sleep the whole day in in uh, in what what they call uh, in grass at the hospital some of the beetles biting them more or this guy will take the child to pay another tax by taking them to a private hospital when this man's woman wants to produce he, that woman will die in her center three or center four so the government robbers and every about the boy robbery you see every day, every year, about four million shillings. And for it to do no worse. But you want me to come here and say we don't have money. When you are paying, people are paying. People are paying. And you see, like Adam Dwyer said, he pays us here on This man is doing your mother's money, so the country's money. So you want me to come and speak about it in a foreign language. And when Adam Dwyer said that, man, was, people said it was vulgar. But he pays us here. It's not their mother's money. And it's our money. So we shall discuss it as we want. So, so and, 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 and slowly, 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 after discussing that nothing is happening, we are tired and fed up. Mm -hmm. And our frustration will be in our speeches and sometimes in our actions. And wanting to stop us from acting uh, against the thieves is saying, uh, I should be home. A thief comes, steals my money, and I keep quiet about it. These are thieves. It's not even corruption. You know, the word corruption is very English. This, these are thieves. Stealing people, milking them like nothing. And uh, well, I think as for as long as your actions are not extra constitutional, uh, are the no actions of stealing money constitutional? Are they, they, no. they are for them. They can steal unconstitutionally, but that for is why. Conduct, that is why. That is, know, that, is, is the that is why they are arraigned before the courts of law. Who is arraigned? They are tried. This, this is my back they are who, they are arraigned before the courts of law. They are tried. And you saw you saw you saw a gonzo cartoon of a clean sheet. You saw you saw a gonzo cartoon of a clean sheet. You saw the cartoon? No, I didn't. You should go and see the the cartoon of a clean sheet. Mm. Uh, like like your cleaning sheet. Mm. Uh, the thieves of the iron sheet thieves mm. by taking them to court and uh, taking more time, clearing Garupa and uh, the speaker and everybody was and so on. They were just cleaning sheets, so it's okay. And they're the all in cabinet. Sheets, yeah. Yes, they're all in cabinet. These guys are all in cabinet. Those thieves are in cabinet. They, 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 one of the economic planning, Rugorovi, is in cabinet planning for our money. The man handling our money is a thief. And you want me to keep quiet about it and be happy and be rosy and you, you want to, to touch that from LOC1 elections, from census. So you want us today to discuss elections, tomorrow census, tomorrow Rugorovi. No. They are, they, they, it's, it's a concoction uh, of rotten eggs in one basket. Of course, I, I, I agree with you to the extent that 
you know, we, we shouldn't encourage corruption, not at any level. And anyone who abuses public office, anyone who must leave office, anyone who misuses a, a, a taxpayer's money must indeed be, I'm if found culpable, must be punished according to the law. Yes. I, I think on that we have consensus on that matter. Well, our time is fast spent. We need to get out of here. So, Robert, I'll just give you each a minute to give us your parting shots. As Robert, as I come towards a doctor. Thank you, moderator. My friend, Brian. <laughs> uh, mm. This is interesting, uh, Dexter. Um, it was a nice, uh, nice deliberation. I hope that uh, in not so much time, the government pronounces itself on the uh, ROC elections. The country can't wait. We can't wait for the elections because the local councils, like I said, is the framework for uh, politics in this country. Without it, we are losing so much. They are conduct the heresies have a lot, so many functions that uh, if they are not in office, not even five days, they, 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 the country is not, uh, the people will suffer. And so we call for urgent uh, attention to this uh, matter by government so that it comes to pass. And we see how Brian shall fare in the election. Thank you so much, Mr. Madreta. Thank you. Yes, Brian. I I I don't want to give false hope. Museveni doesn't want this election, and second, cannot happen in the in this year or even next year. If it happens, it will be to my shock because I know the interests that be that don't want it. It's not a question of money, like we have said. But my parting shot is that everybody must know that they are there on their own and they must be vigilant. These things of thinking that some people are thinking fine planning for you. We had five years of planning for this election. Five years are over. We can't raise 59 billion or 60 billion. But one money is two billion shillings every day. So it's a matter of interests and priorities. And people should forget about this talk of no money and nothing. So anyway. People are stealing it today. You'll hear cases of people stealing 50, 59 billion shillings in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a budget which, which you think is squeezed. But it's life. We continue. We are in Uganda. The fight continues. Ah, unstoppable, yes. Doctor. The failure to hold LC elections on time is unconstitutional. If we were a proper a properly governed country would now be in a constitutional crisis. But because we are largely authoritarian, life goes on as usual, even with no governance at, at local councils one and two. The past LCs that were elected in 2018 have already expired. Nobody can purport, however unconstitutional it is, Nobody can purport to extend something that has elapsed. As I conclude, no authority in Uganda has power to extend the authority or the sovereignty of the people. Local councils one and two derive their power from the people, not even a president, not the minister of local government, not parliament has power to extend the will of the people. I call upon government to treat this as an emergency and immediately find money for electoral commission to conduct these elections. Wow. Robert, we can only say thank you for your time. You're welcome. Unstoppable, it's always a pleasure yeah. having you. You bring in, you know, that kind of dynamic conversation. It's always lovely to have you. Doctor, it's always a pleasure. To the viewers, yeah. Another week is gone. I mean, it's always uh, a privilege having you every single Friday afternoon, every single week that passes by. Well, you've had the conversation, and let's call upon government and all you know our duty bearers on this particular matter to take immediate action because we indeed need these local council leaders to be instituted. Because I mean, like we all agree that they perform substantive, you know, roles at that level. We'll see you next week, same time, same place. Bye-bye.